Hello, and welcome back to the Efficient Skillet. My name is Willie, and I hope you're doing extremely well out there. Here in Texas, one thing 99.9999% of us have in common, whether you're from Mexico or you're just a gringo like me, we all love Mexican food. Today we're going to do a recipe called chicken enchiladas, and hope you'll love it. Okay, so when it comes to cooking chicken, you want to use the absolute healthiest part. The healthiest part is the breast, so you want to start with two large breasts. Ah. Wrong breast! Whew. Try this again. Whew. That's better. All right, so the first thing you want to do is uh, take your boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Uh, try to trim all the fat off of them. You know. Uh, anyway, what, you're, what I'm going to do is cut it into just chunks. Uh, for me, what works is slicing them long ways like that. Y'all seen me do it before. Turn it sideways like that, and then you just start cutting off the chunks like this. This is this will be obviously the uh, filling, the, the meaty filling for our chicken enchiladas. Anyway, you want to do two whole uh, boneless skinless chicken breasts like this. So the next thing you want to do, once you have all your chicken chopped up, uh, the next thing you want to do is uh, put your skillet, your electric skillet on about 275 degrees. I put just a small amount of olive oil in there, extra virgin California olive ranch. We're going to dump our chicken, obviously, into the pan. Next time I took uh, two thin slices of purple onion and diced them. We're going to throw that in. Angel got me these nice glass fancy little things for my cooking videos. Thank you, Angel. Next we're going to take our old friend, Mr. Wooden Spoon, and we're going to uh, start working this chicken down into here with the onions. We'll turn it up just a little bit. Not quite to 300, but between 275 and 300. Give it a little more sizzle. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in some salt. I'm going to put in two pinches of kosher salt. We're going to add some pepper. So you want to salt and pepper to taste. And we're going to add a pretty generous amount of cumin. Cumin is one of the uh, definitely signature Mexican food style spices. That's a pretty good, about like that, about that much cumin. Next we're going to throw in a four ounce can of green chilies. And then we're going to put in a pint of, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, a half pint, one of these small little cartons of heavy whipping cream. Stir it all in. Now we're going to put our lid on it and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. We're going to reduce our heat to about 250. So we're going to let this cook for about 10 minutes at 250. Okay, uh, it's been about 10 minutes now. Our chicken is cooked and all that, but just one more little thing to help it get nice and thick. You take a tablespoon of cornstarch and just put a small amount of water in it and mix it together. And then we're going to pour that in there. There we go. Stir it all up. And what that does is it acts as a nice thickening agent to help thicken it up a little bit more. And then put the lid on for about another five minutes. Okay, it's been about five more minutes. Okay, so we got our nice 
this is our enchilada filling here. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn off our heat. And then we're going to take this filling out of here and transfer it to this large bowl here. You know what? I might have a faster way to do it if I just do this. Man, I hope I don't mess up because I'm on video and everything. This would really look bad. Oh, I did it. Oh, oh, oh. Voila. <laughs> All right, so uh, now we've got our uh, filling set aside here. Uh, we got a, I got this handy little plate that I'll be using, as y'all going to see in just a second here. But the first thing you want to do is with your pan, uh, you want to um, generously spray with uh, no stick, no stick spray. Crisco works real good. All right, it's time to fill the tortillas and create enchiladas. So what I what I like to do is I'll take these flour tortillas. They're real easy to work with. I like corn tortillas too. I think they're delicious, but they're hard to work with because they're they're small and they crack open real easy. But they're still delicious, just like these flour tortillas. But the flours are just easier to work with. So. Take flour tortillas, and whenever you put the fill in and hold your spoon like this, and let some of the, the, the liquidy part drain out because that liquid's going to come in handy in a minute. Anyway, anyway, roll up your tortilla like that, and then we're going to transfer it to the skillet seam side down like that. And we're going to pack as many of those bad boys in there as we can. Okay, so <clears throat> I packed as many as I could get in there. I got, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine enchiladas in there. Now with this remaining uh, filling, which, which is mostly liquid that we have left over, what we're gonna do is spoon it on top of this, these, tor these uh, enchiladas here. Kind of spread it all over. This is gonna be this is going to be mind-blowingly delicious. Even though I'm a gringo preparing Mexican food. There we go. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our lid on. I'm going to set the uh, temperature on our electric skillet to 275 degrees. And we're going to give this about 20 minutes. Okay, uh, it's been about 20 minutes now. Let's uh, take the lid off and see what we got here. Okay, this is looking good. It's bubbling and all that good stuff. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take some uh, Monterey Jack cheese and we're going to sprinkle it on this. And I'm going to put some cheddar cheese on top of that. There we go. All right, so what we're going to do now, now that we put our cheese on, we're going to turn our lid and wait about 10 minutes. Okay, uh, it's been about 10 minutes now, so we're going to take the lid off and see what we got here. And here is our chicken enchiladas. I'm going to turn the skillet off. And the last thing I like to do is uh, take some fresh chopped cilantro and sprinkle it on. There we go. I think that should do it. And there you have it, folks chicken enchiladas. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take some, one of these out of here and we're just going to see, see what this is all about.
Mm, man. Wow. That is delicious, folks. That is just absolutely delicious. Mm. If you have some sour cream, you might want to put a little dab on the side. Have some guacamole with it. Heck, man, between these enchiladas and empanadas, milanesa, sopapillas, I can probably open a Mexican restaurant. But these are delicious. I hope you like it, and I hope you try it. And if you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button. And you can email us, efficientskillet at gmail.com.